Hello everyone, I'm Andrew Reed, Juris Doctor, Small Business Development, IT and Marketing Guru from sunny Victoria, BC. Follow me for new podcasts on beginner investing in business as I survive, grow and prosper in a post-COVID Canada. Disclaimer, my podcast and YouTube content offer very generalized information that has been beneficial to me. Always do your homework and due diligence and make sure that any moves you make are in your own best interest. Nothing in my content is any kind of advice and continuing to listen constitutes acceptance of this disclaimer in its entirety. Today's podcast, Recession. Is it really a bad thing? How can one prepare? Peter Schiff said this on an interview with Meet Kevin today. When the economy is sick, recession is the medicine. You should watch this interview, by the way. Uh, Two of the most notorious figures in economics. They both make a lot of points worth considering. I recommend always listening to opposing or contrasting viewpoints and to constantly test and retest the beliefs you formed. This is how you evolve mentally. So let's start with what's bad about a recession. Stock market dips? Hmm. Okay. Well, during a recession, the economy struggles, people lose work, companies make fewer sales, and the country's overall economic output declines. The Great Recession lasted one and a half years. However, typically recessions last for a few months. The excessive money printing by the federal governments is anything but typical, though, and there are many factors that could really increase the sting of this particular recession. Uh, In a worst case scenario, real estate, currency values, and the stock market are at risk of significant crashes. These effects could compound each other. This could eventually result in a full depression. This could cause massive systematic political changes. This could result in the end of capitalism itself, as those that are already wealthy will keep their wealth and live at the top of any socialist society, only now, without a ladder extended for the dedicated, hardworking entrepreneurs to join them in wealth. Here's hoping that we are very far away from that devastating scenario. On the other hand, historically, no empire and no ideology lasts forever. Capitalism is the closest thing to freedom, so do be sure to cherish it and fight for it, should the situation arise where you have the choice. So what's good about a recession? Well, it will help clean up the garbage companies from the stock market. Those companies with weak fundamentals being propped up with the crutch of a strong growing market will be swept away in the cleansing flood of sell-offs. And big companies like Microsoft, Amazon, even Coca-Cola, they will reform under the economic pressure and come out forged in the fire of efficiency, lean, mean, profit-making machines. Not bad, right? Volatility. I think volatility is a good thing, personally. Big, rapid spikes in stock and crypto let you sell high and buy low frequently or more frequently, increasing the amount of money made by day traders, swing investors, etc. Whether you think a recession is good or bad, it is technically neither. It is a natural contraction in the market. It is inevitable, and ultimately, it provides tremendous opportunity. There are four strategies that I can see for weathering this rather probable failing of our governments to manipulate the economy successfully. These four strategies are, number one, stay rigidly focused on the market and charts. Capitalize by buying low and selling high on as many volatile spikes as possible. This option is time consuming, and we will call it what it is, day trading. Number two, Step back a bit and use limit orders to sell on preset profit points. 
and to buy on present bargain prices. Swing trading. Number three, dollar cost averaging. Regardless of the ups and downs, invest a preset amount at preset time intervals, such as $100 every paycheck. This strategy has been very effective for many people. You will be buying at the average price over time, and in the next growth phase, you will be able to take your profits. Keep an eye on the fundamentals to make sure your investments are still sound, or alternatively, just buy the S&P market as a whole. Strategy number four, pull out completely. Hold cash or some guaranteed security. Just avoid the market until the next growth period. This seems on the surface like the least risky option. At most, you will lose 6 to 10% per year from inflation, where in contrast, the stock market and crypto can drop can drop much further than that. Do you have any Instagrams you would like to share with us before you go? Now, I am so glad that you asked. I have at Canada Stock Market. At Canada Stock Market. This is sharing my Canadian investment journey in real time. I have at baby dragon fitness at baby dragon fitness this is my shopify e-commerce store and i also have at baby dragon canada at baby dragon canada this is my certified digital marketing company located in victoria bc If you are interested in making a podcast of your own, let me tell you how I did it. I used a program called Anchor. It's the easiest way to make a podcast. It's free. There are creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. Anchor will distribute your podcast for you, so it can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many more. You can make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. It's everything you need to make a podcast in one place. Download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. I am a certified digital marketing expert located in Victoria, BC, and I'm working with a fantastic graphic designer from Victoria, BC as well. Learn more at babydragoncanada.com or find us on Instagram at babydragoncanada.